for all of you all that want to dress your arrows up a little bit uh, there's two ways of doing it uh, a lot of people are going to wraps and you can still do the old traditional way of cresting like uh, most of the traditional guys still do uh, the advantage of uh, wraps are simple uh, pretty easy but they're not very durable the ink wipes off pretty easy if they're brushed up against something the uh, cresting is a whole lot more durable and uh, seems to uh, last a lot longer uh, I've made a, a little jig up that uh, uses a sewing machine motor and a dimmer switch to control the speed as you can see you can control the speed whatever you want it you don't want it going very fast or it throws the paint off so you want it going just fast enough to get you a good even coat I made a little jig that uh, the arrow rides in it's got a little v-notch cut in it with a little piece of carpet and a little bracket on top of it to keep the arrow from coming out that I can slide up and down wherever I want it and then I also made a a little slide uh, guide plate or a little little template that I can move to wherever I want it that lays out my pattern that I want so in this case uh, I'll line that up at the end of the arrow I use Krylon spray paint uh, for the base uh, white on the back which you can use whatever color you want but I'm using white in this case and then uh, testers model paint uh, is what I use for the actual cresting stripes On this arrow I'm going to be using red and a black so I'm going to put the base I'm going to put the red on first and it's just a simple matter of lining up your your marks slide that back and forth but you got to go fairly quick before it starts drying because it dries fairly quick go from the outside in towards the center you don't necessarily have to but you can see how smooth it feeds on there Okay, I'm going to let this dry, then I'm going to come back with my black. Okay, after just a few minutes, let that red start setting up and getting dry, and then you can come back with your next color, which in this case it's going to be black. same process a little more tedious when you get in between the colors but going to have a trim between it it's going to dress it up just a little bit more
One more final up here next to where the veins are going to be. Now, going to let that dry. And then I'm going to come back with the final trim of a silver that will trim all the colors out and kind of dress it up that final little bit. Okay, the final step is going to be the trim between the colors just to border everything out and kind of dresses it up. And this is going to be a silver. And you can make these as, make them as wide or narrow as you want them. Bottom one, gonna make it kind of wide. This is just a little real narrow brush. Kind of dresses it up a little bit, makes it a little, a little nicer looking. Cleans all the, the lines up. Just uh, whatever looks good to you. These I'm going to make a little wider on the top and the bottom. And then a couple of real fine ones right here in the middle of this red. And that's it. Now it's just a matter of letting it dry and come back and put the veins on it. All right, here's one that's complete. It's a different arrow, different color. Uh, this is uh, orange and black, obviously, with uh, two inch vein tech HP veins uh, ready to shoot. Uh, so I would uh, recommend anybody that's got any thoughts about trying this to do it because it's not hard to do at all. Uh, it's fairly enjoyable, something to do in the middle of the winter time when you don't have much to do. Weather's bad outside. Uh, thanks for watching and good luck to you.